better. All right. So anyway, this is Van Brace is from Devspresso Games, published by Head Up. Like I said, I did get the key for free. It is coming out tomorrow. I'm not too sure of the cost, uh, but the link is like literally right there, so you guys can check it out. Is should you want as well. And I'm looking forward to it. The word from the dev on it, I'm just going to read it. It's a love letter to the games that left their incredible marks on us since inspired by the gothic final fa or fantasies of Castlevania. The deep lore of series like the Elder Scrolls, the replayability of roguelikes have got the L, and the sweeping character-driven epics of your favorite JRPG. It represents our effort to seize those varied elements and condense them into an interactive experience players from all walks, especially misogynists, will enjoy. That's a that alone right there gets me hyped for it. So let's transition over to it. Swing. There we go. And go back. So anyway, the art style is really cool so far. The music so far is pretty cool. I'm digging it. Vlad knows his games. And I'm just going to move myself to the corner. There we go. He knows his game, so I'm excited to play it. Let's go play. Click a slot. Oh, baby. One quick second. I think there might be a, an embargo on how far I can play this. I totally forgot to check. One second. I'm just going to check my email. I think it might be up. I think it was today it was lifted. So, I'm going to leave this here. Let's do review embargo. Only play the first three chapters publicly until May 27th. All else contains too many spoilers. So, I don't know if they mean like end of day the 27th or, or not. Assuming that the game is coming out tomorrow, I'm not going to do more than the first three chapters tonight. All right? I don't think, I think the uh, the embargo is gone. However, I don't want to spoil too much of the game. For myself included. So I'm going to do the first three chapters. And I don't know how long that's going to take. I suspect it's probably longer than like the 45 minutes-ish I've allocated in my head for it. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. Private Biggs, that's a Star Wars reference. Pretty lady. She has that uh, eye condition too that's uh, two different colored eyes. I can never remember the the name of it oh that doesn't matter that is all right this is the place i told you guys about private it's biggs and wedge it's literally star wars slash final fantasy references i'm already hooked looks like the spooks got here first was it really worth leaving our regular path to come all the way out here we're not patrolling today besides if we don't find any more supply soon we'll all be in trouble have you a better suggestion i'm not the one that will have to tell celeste we came back empty-handed Heterochromia, that's it. That's the name of it. See, this is why you guys are so much better than me. Shut your pie holes. Who knows what's lurking about up here? Just look around and see if you can find anything useful. Check out the tutorial graphic above and move out. Okay, can character can move left and right in the field. Okay. I'm playing with a controller. I don't know. Or I'm not playing with a controller. Maybe I should. Command box, bottom left displays your interactive options with the environment. Okay. Command. So that's this part. Command box on the bottom right display is the inventory, bio, codex, and map options. All right. Inventory displays the items that your team is carrying. Makes sense. Map displays the map. Makes sense. Bio displays team members, stats, skills, statuses, and equipped relics. Got it. Animation is actually really slick. Oh, there's light. Sarge, Wedge, Biggs. Okay. I like it. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> A door. Is it locked? Open it already and keep your guard up. All right. All right. Interaction objects. Makes sense. Red X in the interaction means you can neither access that area or engage in the object. You only need to hold the interact button to complete your action within certain objects. Okay. I, I, I'm holding the button. Is it down? Is it space? It's space. 
Spear hype. Oh, there's a spear. Spears are OP. Found something that looks like a chest of some sort. Well, what are you waiting for? Okay, here goes. Here goes. I forgot how to open it. <laughs> oh, mother, help me. It's a miracle I've survived this long in the company of fools. Just press and hold the button indicated in the tutorial graphic and voila. 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 <laughs> it's usually good if you have someone with a high slight stat in your team do the dirty work. Which one is the slight stat? Wait, I can look this up. I understand. I understand health. Slight is the key and lock. Makes sense. Merchantry, awareness, and overwatch. Okay, we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. No problem. Hey, look, Jonas is in the game. <laughs> How do you do things? How do I choose this character? We oh you have the most slight. So if I wanted to choose what if I use the controller? Oh that's the map. Maybe it'll prompt me for it. Okay. Chest can carry loot. Tells me what slight is. Scavengers with low slight. Move aside and leave it to me. All right. Uh, I want everything. Hook me up with all this junk. Scrap metal. Hell yeah. Rope and thread. Oh, all mother's rosary. Max 11 plus 11. Changes flourish to prey. Chests here are different. Forget the chest. Try checking your inventory and character bios as indicated in the bottom right of the screen. Okay. Team's inventory. I get it. Skull Ipon represents Heli and the currency used to buy and sell items. Okay. Capacity. Got it. Overweight debuff. I get it. I like it. Quest items will remain with you. Appreciate that as I often sell quest items. <laughs> I said I would ever do anything like that and soft lock my own game. More than once. Relics represented by the diamond icon may be equipped to improve stats or upgrade skills. Some quest items may also be equipped. So if I just drag this, how do I understand? Okay, I'm going to give it to Biggs. Maybe. How do I? Oh, that's how you switch. Oh, no, no, no. Go, go back. There we go. Okay. I like Biggs. Biggs is my boy. Okay, that's not how you do it. Um. Yo. Let me hook this up to him. Is it through here? I don't understand. Uh, can only be equipped by the Dragoon and Fencer. Okay. Aren't you? You're a dragoon, aren't you? Experienced fighter. You're, you're, what are you? This fighter. I don't, I guess I just don't have the, uh, the character. All right. Okay, switch you up. There we go. Hook me up with this dude. Let's just go. This is like how to move and shit. That's what we're doing right now. It's freezing out here. You think the spooks are getting close? Did you forget to bring the geistometer again? We should keep going. No use back those way we came. 
Stay put for too long and they'll catch up. Remember, if your health or vigor drops to zero, you'll be the one spooking this place. Let's go. Feel uneasy, this place gives me the creeps. Indicates health. If the character's health drops to zero, he or she will die. Damage to health is usually incurred during combat. Okay. Yellow bar on the character HUD in indicates vigor. A character will also die. Vigor drops to zero. Damage to vigor usually incurred through stress of exploration. Understood. Flourish points through critical actions, bonuses, and finishing act turns. Understood. Limit bar. Get it. Hey, John, how are you doing? Blaze Fire, I'm doing pretty good, buddy. How are you doing? Except now I've got an infrastronic totem. Oh, avoid it. The world's greatest. There are traps are dangerous. I understand. I played the darkest dungeon. Okay, high awareness means I get through traps. Some actions have a probability failure. When you see the green script means your attempt was a success. Red means failed. Makes sense. Did that say Shazam? No. Selzum. Selzum. And Uixum. Uixa. Okay. And blue is critical. I like it. Rainy Central America is nice. Is VR stream on Wednesday confirmed? Yes. I will be doing a VR stream on Wednesday, and I think the final Mega May stream will be on Thursday. I saw something move in the distance. Get your weapons ready and think fast. Let's make sure we all get home today. All right. We're fighting three people with axes. You've encountered hostile enemies. Your team is located on the left and the team, enemy team on the right. Four slots. I get it. Bottom to, to turn order. Oh, this is cool. Higher awareness gives characters an advantage and in initiative. If two characters have the same awareness, the one position in front will get the initiative. When a character's icon reaches this point, it's his or her turn to take action. Okay. There's a lot of happy death going on in here. Oh, hype. They just wanted to ask you a question. <laughs> Formation allows you to rearrange your team in the heat of combat. Runaway is also a good option for avoiding combat. We ain't going to avoid anything. So. Short range, mid range, long range. Okay. Understand. Understand. Understand, understand, also understand. Oh, so you, you choose the top. Okay. So if I go back, yeah, go like this. Oh, one hit KO. Get fucked. Also, do you really not know what Memorial Day is? No, I have no idea. I'm Canadian. I don't know what it is. We do not celebrate it. Don't judge me by it. I could, like, Wikipedia it. I don't mean it, like, negatively. I don't expect you guys to know what Family Day is. Because I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, I miss. You're gonna regret that. Where does it show the damage that it deals? I guess it doesn't. That's all right. It's a, to remember fallen military personnel. Oh, okay. That makes sense. All right, it's still kind of loud. I'm just gonna change the options here. Okay, there we go. I like how big the characters are on the screen. And like the design is like really, really cool. Don't you guys had a bad feeling about this place? You're the one that's insisted we came out here to begin with. By all means, continue quarreling amongst yourselves if you want to be ice pops. We will have the spoils we came for and it's colder than a witch's tit out here. I, for one, am ready to return. Killed in action or missed in, missing in action, military. That sucks. Nobody should have to go through that. It's unfortunate. I'm glad you guys. Uh, we have um, Remembrance Day in November, but I think that's more around like the World War One and Two. 
I don't know if we have like a military day, the equivalent in Canada. We might though. I don't know if we do. Who is it? Hmm? She's not from Derelik. I don't recognize her. No other scavenging teams have come up today either. Well, we can't help her now. Search the body. Seriously, you search her. Wait, she's still breathing. We should help her. Who knows how long she's been out here? You want to bring her back? Are you mad? We have no clue who she is. She could be with the green flame for all we know. She doesn't look like one of them. We can't risk compromising Dalark's location. Celeste will have our heads. And what if she knows how to cast that strange magic? We don't have to worry about that. She's unconscious. Captain Lanville shall decide her fate. Cool. I once read a man would have to go below the waves to understand the true scale of an iceberg. Reminds me of you, dear father. I confess I never really knew you. After all, how does one get the measure of a man when there's so much beneath the surface? Nevertheless, I owe my survival of Zumurud's blistering deserts and the wild forests of Sylvia to your training. When I was summoned home to Edina, in order to read your last will and testament, I didn't know what to expect. I suppose it comes as no surprise you remained a mystery even in death. I now find myself beckoned to the dwarven realm of Darkheim by the encrypted journal and ancient relic you left behind. <laughs> Guy Games, what is up? To the cursed city of Isenair answers you never provided I shall not be daunted my determination is equal to the task at hand if as you say this vambrace is the key to entering that forbidden city it's the name of the game I will find what I seek yo she is determined has been difficult since the Vambrace entered my possession, I have been plagued by unsettling dreams. Been a hot minute, how are you? I'm pretty good. Cutting me down. Getting a little nervous and exciting about having a kid in five months. <laughs> totally not ready. I'm a kid myself. Oh, thank God their chapters are named. Oh, sometimes with embargoes, uh, it's a little behind the scenes stuff, but like, developers or uh game studios like publishing studios or even um intermediaries like there's times when games are early like this one here coming out tomorrow you you may or may not work directly with the developer you'll work with like an intermediary between like the developer pays a company basically to handle all the communication with uh, streamers media and so forth Anyway, uh, sometimes they're not really clear with the embargo. They'll just say, like, don't play past, like, X point. Like, don't play past this boss. And you're like, okay, no problem. I'm going to, I'm gonna, you know, not do that because I respect the developer's opinion. Uh, and it's their game. And it's nice of them to, you know, hook me up. But sometimes you have to end up guessing where they are. So I'm glad that the, these ones, like, it's clear. It's like... Fucking chapter three. And if they're named chapter one, two, three. All right, anyway, girl, ugh, my head. Glad you can join us, Sleeping Beauty. Congrats, thanks, buddy. I'm looking forward to it. Who are you? Let's make this clear. I'm the one asking questions here. You can start with your name. My name is Lyric, Evil a Lyric. I am Lanville Esquire. You're lucky we found you a moment later and you'd be another piece of frozen decor gracing the streets. <laughs> I must have been you never felt chill like that before. We are unfortunately well acquired with it here. Celeste had half a mind to leave you up there. Good for you. She's not calling the shots and I was feeling generous. Up here? So we're underground. Looks like I've got a sharp one on my hands. I took the liberty of searching your stuff, a bunch of climbing gear, and a strange book nobody can read. Explain. I came seeking answers about my father, the late Dr. Nikolaou Lyric. I traveled here from Edna with his journal. Right, everyone knows nobody goes and nobody ever comes out of Isender. Eisenair? Eisenair. Eisenair, you mean I'm here? I actually made it inside the city. 
Suppose for a moment I entertain your absurd story. How the hell did you get past the Frostfell? The barrier on the city, I walked through it. Enough of this nonsense. You think I haven't seen what happens when someone touches it? Instant death. The only freaks wandering the surface are either spooks, mad survivors, or the green flame. You're not dead. As far as I can tell, you're still sane. So let's cut through the crap. What's your connection with the green flame? I don't know them. The green what? Green flame, the arconic cult hell-bent on destroying the Guardian Alliance. Ring any bells or have you been living under a rock? They're the ones responsible for this frozen cures. Cures? I can assure you I'm not with them. I just got here. You're serious, aren't you? Well, imagine my surprise to learn that some Ed and I decided to take a leisure stroll on the surface. Listen, I have a matter of great urgency. I'm looking for an individual named Zakard. Do you know of him? There's nothing left for us to discuss right now. But I'm feeling gracious today, so tell you what, I'm giving you tentative permission to move him out, Dalark, until I figure out what to do with you, that is. Dalark? Oh, that's the name of your lovely abode deep below Eisenair. Welcome to paradise. You're just letting me go? There's nowhere to run, so you'd best make yourself at home. In fact, take this. You'll need some if you want to survive down here. What's this? We call it Hellion. It's the only currency worth anything down here. Consider it a little welcome gift. Oh, I thank you. I've never seen paper money. <laughs> me neither. Not in like a couple of years. Is there anything funny in your dead in a cell or right back on the surface where we found you? Are we clear? Crystal. Crystal clear. I'm famished. Is there anything to eat down here? You can run while you're in Dalark. Cool. Can I talk to this dude? No? All right. No problem. Prison guard, the captain's finished with you, eh? That was fast. Please wait while I process your paperwork. I'm not going down there. Why is this thing on fire? How to keep your body warm. Step one, make a fire. Step two, stand in front of fire. Step three, be warm. Hmm. Keep your distance from her. Or you're bound to lose a limb. That's Isabel Salazar. The woman knows black magic. Consider yourself warned. Junsun Futsun, the art is incredible in this. Widzi, what is up? How are you doing? The art is amazing. I 100% agree. I do have like, it's a real, it's incredibly mild complaint because I do think it looks really good overall. Um, the Frost and Hell is running your presence here. I'll, I'll explain in a second here. So the art style in the dialogue box is really cool. However, when you're outside of like the dialogue, the art style just doesn't, it doesn't seem like it matches as well. I feel like maybe these could have been a little bit more detailed, but overall, like they're very cool. Your paperwork is on scram before we change your mind. And I don't even know if you can make these more detailed. I don't know. Just something feels like it maybe doesn't match perfectly. And I'm not saying it needs to, but I don't know. It's hard to explain. Okay, I understand. Just let me go. It's kind of anime-esque. This is... I was not expecting a overworld. This is chibi-esque, for sure. This is so Final Fantasy right now. <laughs> I'm digging it. Hulk, you're not permitted to be roaming around here. Calm yourself, good sir. This is my dear friend. Do you not recognize her? Another girl like you, tricky bastard. I still need to check her papers, though. No need. I can personally vouch for her. After all, a friend of mine is a friend of the North Venture Company. All right, all right, go on. Who's this smooth talker? I agree. Who is this handsome man with big ears? What gorgeous eyes the lady has. Maram, relic hunting extraordinaire at your service. Sorry, but isn't your fancy way of saying you're a thief of antiquities? You offend my sensibilities with such barbed words. Wow. Oh, he's got that angsty look too. I am merely a humble adventurer who got stuck in the wrong place at the wrong time. Wait, you're playing boy band simulator tonight? <laughs> That's a large belt buckle. 
on his chest. Why did you help me anyway? I have a quick ear, lady. It's a quick ear, all right. Life can be difficult for an outlander unfamiliar with our strange ways. Forgive me, you must be famished. Allow me to take you to the market. Come then, follow me. Oh, wow, what a trek. We went so far. <laughs> Hello, Yesol. This is Lyric, my friend since of today. Yesol, that's a pretty name. How can I help you two today? Do you have anything to eat? All I can pay in gold. We don't use gold here, milady. Don't you have any hellion? The foxy A traditionally burnt, burnt it as an offering to our ancestors. It's now the currency of choice. Let's make a deal. Let's go. Okay. I understand how money works. Switch between the shopwares and your inventory to buy and sell items. So that works like, um... Kind of like Dwarf Fortress, actually. Merchantry represents your ability to negotiate with more merchants. And RimWorld, I think, too, had a similar um, trading system. So, this is me, this is you. No, this is you, this... Wait. I need to figure this out. I need to buy something. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's go with this. Can I drag it? Okay, I bought it. Cool. Mm, I can afford these. I don't know if I want them, though. I don't think I need them. Health minus one, vigor plus one. Vigor minus one, health plus one. Okay. Uh, let's go with one of these. And we're done, I guess? I'll be seeing you. All right. Another new person. Stop right there. Lady Celeste, what brings you to our quiet corner of Dalar? What are you doing out of prison? Mayhaps there was a misunderstanding. Shush your mouth, Mora. Your guards arrest her. What? <laughs> we were just here. Son of a bitch. I honestly didn't think you were going to make it when we dumped you in that cell. Celeste, right? Landville mentioned your team found me. Save the pleasantries. I don't trust you as far as I could throw you. Can only throw you 27 feet. And I don't trust people that I can't throw 33 feet or more. Regardless, you have my thanks. You received no charity from us. My team found you on this street. Thought you might be a green flame agent we can interrogate. Good intel is hard to come by nowadays. I believe you just waltzed into ice and air. Ridiculous. The frost fell surrounding the city. Kills anything that touches it. We have Isabel to thank for that wicked, wretched gift that keeps given. I just saw her in the prison. What does she have to do with all this? Because I'm playing coy, I'm not buying any of it. What if Landville said it's true and I'm the first person to enter the city in a year? Nobody outside has the slightest clue of what's happening here. Want to know what's really happened? We were fools that got caught in the middle of a civil war. Tensions between the dwarves and the drifters. As old as the city itself, we never imagined Eisenhower would devolve into total chaos. The green flame had been stroking tensions, stoking tensions. Nothing about stroking going on here. For months, if not years... When the time came, they seized the moment and orchestrated a decisive coup. In whose name? The King of Shades. He cursed this place and keeps an iron grip on it, but I'm sure that's no surprise to you. After all, you show up now. That's convenient. Maybe Landville believes your little sob story, but you're not fooling me. You've got the wrong idea about me. I came here in good faith. Too bad you're marching right back to that prison cell, and you're going to learn to get real cozy with that witch friend of yours. All right. Wedge, can we have a problem? Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? There's a mad wraith in Dale Arc. What? How's that possible? Is that the ascending room? Please come. Just my luck. I don't think this changed anything. You're coming with me. Mad wraith. So it's Ghostbusters time. Ghostbusters. 
There's no ordinary spook. It's gone mad. Rock a rock. -ar. <laughs> she just one hit it. That was a one hit KO. Who is on duty? We lost two souls here. There are no witnesses and how they got in, sir. We arrived a moment too late. Lyric stopped it. Is that so? I guess your theory that she was with the green flame didn't age well. What say you now? I, uh, sir, we shouldn't jump to any conclusions. Nonsense. Get these men to the Sylvani Healing Hall and be discreet about it. We don't need to cause an unnecessary panic. Impose some guards on the surface. Lyric, meet with me in the war room at Guardian's Barracks. There's someone who would like a word with you. Okay. Oh, so this is the guards barracks. All right. Progress has been saved. Thumbs up. I want to see what this one is before we go to the barracks. Who knows? This dude is adorable. Wow, are those? I've heard stories about these machines, but I've never seen one up close. It's a golem. Oh, found a page of the codex. Oh, baby. Huzzah. Be amazed there are no other technical marvels like this, like them in the world. Yeah, they're quite remarkable. Did you make these yourself? My name is Volsung, and this is my workshop. Yep, my faithful servants are the handiest. Have you ever met a golem before? I'm not surprised you humans don't have the same knack for engineering as we do. There's a lot of complex tech running underneath the hood of these tin men. The inside compartment is made out of... Something. Well, you're quite the handyman. How do they work? These superior golems are powered by my special brand of engineering and a bit of Sylvani hedge magic. He means weed. They run on enchanted apples. He doesn't mean weed. Too bad Talindra won't help me anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Okay. Oh, extra storage. Dope. For all my things. Of nothing. I was just reading something in your weed comment. It made me laugh so hard. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's clearly LSD. Of course, right? Okay, where's the war room? Is it up this ladder? No, this is a bedroom. Can't go that way. All right. <laughs> Dumb caps lock. Silly caps lock. Not the war room? Yo, I would have actually guessed that that was the war room, like, right there. You don't have pants on. You must be freezing. War room? Let me be clear, I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. You said that already. Yeah, you said, you said all of that. Celeste. Maybe the map will help me. It's probably in here. So if I go this way. I knew that's where that led. Maybe it's past the barracks. It's definitely not past the barracks. Okay, let me just see. I think I gotta go to the fourth floor. Maybe it just didn't go high enough. What is this? All right, we found a page of the codex. Not sure what that's for. Probably for codexing. Maybe I gotta talk to you. 
Chamber belongs to our leader, Commander Zangard. Virtue, it's strictly off limits. Where the hell is the war room? Why are there cameras? Oh, does it tell you where, like, you're looking at? Okay, it's not this way. Not that way. I went through here, right? Did I run through here? Is that page of the codex? It's part of the codex. Let's go. Is it through the dresser? It's in the last place you look. Of course, it's in the last place I look because I wouldn't be looking for it anymore after I found it. Maybe there's a back door? Maybe this is it? The Eldritch Library. Run away from this. It's been a full week, meaning only five weeks of recovery left. Oh, tiny. Good to hear. With the broken bones and the in the wooden pops. You broke your leg, right? I believe that's what you said. I don't think I want to go up here. I want to go to like this room right here. All I had to do was run to the right on the very first floor. <laughs> oh, happy Gregorial day. Job bone. What is up? How you doing? We found it. We found where we wanted to go. Nice parallax scrolling going on. Characters in the background. I'm digging it. City map. All right. Here we go. I don't know how it happens, sir. We're making every F4. Lyric, glad you can join us. I'd like to introduce you to our esteemed leader, Zagard Ventru. No, Zagard, not Zangard. I said on Sergio months ago, I can hardly believe you're standing here now. Oh, please excuse me. Apologies for interrupting. I'm just so pleased to make your acquaintance. Call me Zagard. Captain, just inform me of your unusual arrival. I have a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. She murdered our guards. I accidentally skipped one. A mad wraith into derelict, putting many lives at risk, but I just saw her briefly while having my paperwork done. She even spoke to me as I was leaving. But she hasn't spoken in a year. I broke my leg in two spots and my clavicle, I recall. I liked a two-color eye lady. Me too. Which I already forgot what it was called. Where is it? Heterochromia. That's it. I to remember what she said. I didn't pay much attention, heed to her at the time. Who is she? That witch is one of the Shade King's prime lieutenants. If she gets away, will she compromise Dale Ark's location? If that happens, nothing will save us. Then forgive me for asking, but why aren't you pursuing her right now? We tried. We were unable to follow her through the Faust French. Freeish French. She used her magic to bypass it. Frost fence. The smaller barrier is conjured by the same magic as the Frost Fell. I understand. I love her armor design. It's really cool. The art design and the character design in this is really well done. I like her gauntlet. You could do so the power of the Van Brace, but you already knew that, didn't you? How did you come to the possession of this artifact? My late father left it to me. His final letter bid me to seek you out in this cursed place. This Van Brace, he said, was likely the key to coming here. It allowed me to bypass the frost fell harmlessly. Would your father happen to be the esteemed Dr. Nikolao Lyric? One and the same, how could you possibly know that he is a renowned scholar and his research on the Archons is unsurpassed? I am well versed in his works. Also, I have well versed in the art of v-neck t-shirts. The lower, the better. 
I'll just wear mine. And it's not a V-neck, but I'll wear my collar lower. Now before me stands a woman <laughs> bearing his namesake and carrying a relic of iconic design, even I can connect the dots. It's called the Aether Brace, a powerful relic indeed. I'm not sure Lyric realized the value of what she possesses. If all you say is true, then should give it to us. We could use it to turn the tide against the King of Shades. It's not that simple. I can't remove it. I've tried everything short of cutting off my arm. Oh, it's the gauntlet is the Vam Brace. Oh, it's called a brace. Duh. Lyric, you seek answers and I'm willing to help you, but our priority is now finding Isabel. Would you be willing to lead a party against the frost fence to find her? You'll need a place to prepare before deploying. Take the scroll of consent and tell Helga at the Lost Lady Inn that I sent you. She'll make sure you have a space. <laughs> really <generous. laughs> uh, my scouts inform me Isabel is moving north towards the an entertainment district we will send some guardians with you to help with the service of course if you're looking for cell swords you may have some luck at the recruitment board in the meantime I'll make sure the ascending room is set for your nest destination cool let's go so oh my god Hey, girl, over here. Hello, stranger. Pretty busy right now. Then I'll keep it brief. I'm Maruhan, the acting director of the North Venture Company in Dokheim. I heard rumor Landville was assembling an expedition to the entertainment district. Is that true? I like that she talks like this because I talk like this sometimes. Word travels fast around here. I like the two other lady as well, and I'm totally looking at her eyes. <laughs> there are a few activities. Pente, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> a few activities to while away the hours in Dale Arc, and the gift of Gab has always been my speciality. Mine too. Just not reading. Well, your sources were rice, but right. <laughs> but the original expedition was canceled on meeting a new one myself. Come on, her tits are one third of her sprite. You're not wrong. What is this item and who is Manduck? A golden seal called the Oaks Akase? <laughs> I'm not science. Science measurement right here. Mostly accurate. I don't even know what I'm reading anymore. <laughs> Doesn't seem like something worth risking life's over. Risk brings reward. Fetch me the seal and I'll ensure you get the finest deals in Dale Art. All right, all right, keep an eye out for it, but I'm not making any promises. The merchant's fate has already been sealed. It's of little use to her now, but it's priceless to me. I'll be seeing you around. All right then. So we need to go. That's the bar. Is there another area? It auto saves so much. What is this area? It's a bridge. It's a shanty town. Halt, these are shanties. I'm afraid I cannot let you get through unless you have the proper documentation. It's like, check yourself, bitch. Let me through. I mean, I don't really need to go here, right? Plus, like, I said I'd be playing this for about 45 minutes. Okay, let's go here. Let's do, um... I wish I did more than one combat, to be honest. Are you Helga? Helga's like... I like Helga. Well... Look what the snow cat dragged in. I heard there was a new face in town. My name is Lyric. Understand, is that so? Unfortunately, we're full up. Overworld is very PS1. It is. Absolutely. It's a... It's an RPG I'm trying to remember that had like that chibi style overworld. And I can't remember what it's called. Maybe like Breath of Fire? Maybe that's what I'm thinking. 
actually might have something for you. <laughs> but it can barely be called a room. You're used to roughing it. <laughs> Big part. <laughs> Helga. <laughs> oh. oh, Helga. I love Helga. Then you won't have any problems here. We have a space behind the bar that's being used for storage. You can unload over there. I'm not complaining. We're only men. Can't help it. We're literally staying behind the bar, huh? In here, I guess? Not there. Not there. Not there. Not here. Maybe it's like she means literally behind the bar. Okay, page of the codex. Never mind, she means like right here. Yeah. Whoa, she wasn't getting this place to the dump. Hey, you take what you can get. Well, if I'm gonna stay here, I might as well clean it up a bit. Amazing, look how much better it looks. Took me all night to clean that mess. I'll have to admit this place looks a lot better now. It's really not half bad. Animations are a little woody marinette, like something makes me uneasy. Yeah, I can see it. Maybe it's like the, the frames of animation. Maybe it just needs a little bit more between them. The the characters, when they're talking, are incredible. I agree. The art is great. Okay. Don't want me to sleep. Understood. Lyra can change her clothes in the dressing room where you unlock new skins and progress through the expedition. What are these arrows for? Is there any actual advantage to changing these? Should I wear this? Sure. Whatever, it's a different look. Nothing wrong with different looks. A bath with running water impressive. The ancient aqueduct system is more advanced than most modern cities. You don't think they, uh... Okay. They don't... They don't show her bathing. This isn't The Witcher 3, alright? Font is not, though... Ah, uh, the font is... I'm kind of hit and miss on it. The art reminds me of SNS somewhat. Yeah, I can get that. There's an advantage of that outfit. It's a little tighter in combat. <laughs> All right, so I think we can just go. Yeah, okay. I want to do one more fight before we switch over to Bullet Rage, which I got to be honest, I don't know how much I'm going to play, um, but I do want to give it a more of a look than like the five minutes I gave it, so. All right, recruitment board. Makes sense. Yeah, just works like a recruitment board of anything. So we can hire heroes, again, just like um, Darkest Dungeon. So, but it does look like they've got cooler, or at least like different classes of jobs. Not to say like uh, the hero classes in Darkest Dungeon were not cool. But I am more inclined to like, Dragoons are awesome. So absolutely, we will take this companion. A fencer, an Arcaster, and a Fusilier. So we can only take two of these. Salt and Sanctuary also had woody animations that were hard for me to take. It's hard for you to take the wood E animations. I'm going to go with you because you look like a mage. And we have a dragoon. So close combat, maybe mid-range combat, possibly long-range combat. Plus, like, it's literally, literally Vladimir Ladeau right here in form. So I have to take the Vlad character, right? She's a walking fetish, glasses, cat ears, red hair. <laughs> you might be right. Let's take a look. 
And, um... Not a kimono. I can't remember what this is called. Don't fall in love too hard. A master of the bow and arrow with a penchant for smooth talk. Dang it, I have two ranged characters. I did not think that she was an archer. I thought for sure a mage. That's 100% Vlad. This looks like Penta. Can I rename them? No. I would absolutely rename... So, don't tell him this, but this is Vlad. This is Penta. That's Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't tell him I said that, though. That would be embarrassing. All right, I think we're good on, like, our first expedition here. So it is a roguelike of sorts, anyway. Um, just like Darkest Dungeon, you could consider one. So as, as far as I know, these guys are not expendable, but uh, maybe not likely to live through it. Who do I need to... Do? I have to see this thing. Let's go. That's more Witsy. Witsy is gorgeous. He is real gorgeous. That's true. The ascending room is an ancient device constructed to ferry passengers from Dale Ark to various locations on the surface. Choose your desired location and go. Okay. Off we go. Talking more about myself, I had to get used to it. I like the loading animation. Ah, looks like this is the hidden entrance to the city. I could freeze to death up here. I better hustle if I want to find Isabel. Okay, camping. I like it. I probably should have brought some supplies. Oh, you amuse. Oh, you have to entertain. Okay. I like it. All right, so I did want to do at least one mission, so I'm happy that we're we're getting a chance to. Don't have a map of this place. Also kind of like that. Digging the mission so far. How it looks. Chapter 2. The Merchants. She's going to freeze to death. I'm Sarge... Zachar told me you were coming up to people, pull half frozen from the surface, usually avoid coming back. So let's mention one of her scavenging parties found me. Thanks for saving my life. I suppose I'm a glutton for punishment. You know, the green flame of feral animals aren't your, all you'll need to worry about up here. I'm good. Take this, we call it the Geistometer. Yeah, you already explained this to me, game. We should be okay. Terror will increase your party explores the field. It will drop again when you enter a new sector. Okay. I just wanted to see the Geistometer. Oh, it's right here. Okay, okay, we got it. Let's go. Be careful around that. The green flame have been putting them up around the city to block our way. That's the reason I'm here. What's the plan? I thought you knew a way around it. No, we're going through it. Can't be serious. Touching it is instant death. How do you think I got into the city to begin with? All right, everyone, step back. I've done this once before, and I honestly don't know what's going to happen next. Here goes nothing. Take this, you fence. And yeah, the font is not doing so good. I could barely read that red text. I, I kind of agree. It could be a little clearer, even if it was like maybe slightly bigger this van brace protects me from arconic magic you could use it to help us escape the city it seems i can destroy these smaller frost fences but that's not the case where the frost fell what's this oh a codex page i don't know what that's for yet Mortals, it seems that traffic is busy in the entertainment district today. My name is Gerard. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Hands up where I can see them. You, you can speak. The font is not good. It's too shapely for how small it is. Yeah, I, I agree. If it were 
maybe like 20 to 30 percent bigger it would be a lot easier to read tell them the truth interesting indeed you must possess a magic that is neither blood nor hedge suspect a sense of urgency in your manner i'm willing to help you show a good faith did you see someone through here as a matter of fact i did i passed a woman today tall dark and brooding she was it bleeds too much into the other words for my eyes. Yeah, the kerning could be a little bit better too, but I don't mind the kerning too much. Like, I'm okay reading it. It could be a little bit bigger though. Why can't the, why can't every dev just use Times New Roven? Or Upheaval, right? My generosity does have its limits. It would be willing to point you in the right direction for a price. What do you want? I'm searching for something, nothing important, just a small golden company seal known as the Osaka. My dear, you would stand to gain much from such a deal with me. I merely seek your agreement to return of oh, the Oxe to me should you stumble upon it. <laughs> Upheaval. <laughs> mm. Let's just make a deal. My word is my bond, I hope is yours in any case i saw your woman she was heading north towards the ghost bazaar coincidentally i was heading the same way beware the road there is not safe for the living and the bazaar is even more dangerous we gotta watch out for shopkeepers i've heard tale of the merchant terrible thing what happened understood there we go <laughs> here it comes oh no Let's go left. <laughs> Meow broke it. C -c 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 Combo breaker. All right, fight time. Yes, we got combat. I love combat. Meow, how are you doing? You got some root beer? Root beer is delicious. So what if I go like this? An attack. Shoot that boy. Shoot that boy dead. Okay, you go. And then I go thrice. Is there an option? I accidentally skipped your turn. I wanted to go to the options page. Well, never mind. <laughs> attack please kill all three it did not kill all three that's okay I did not mean to defend maybe that'll work out it sort of works Yo, Vlad, let's go. You got this. Oh, it does say the damage right at the health bar. Oh, there we go. Fago root beer is pretty good. I don't know that brand. Wow, those emotes. Wow. You, you do three attacks too. You got debuffed. I like that. Yo, Kitty Cat's doing pretty good. That did a lot of damage, I think. That fight was real easy. Hook me up with all your spectral dust. I don't know what it does. Suppose we'll find out though. I don't know if it's a, just a USA or Michigan brand. Yeah, I've never heard of it myself. Can we rest? Yo, can we all get in the same bed? Let's take a look at the map. 
Where the hell are we? We were here. Each... Oh, I see. Never mind. Your team must reach the sector exit to progress. It's got an encounter event. Okay. You need to clear five sectors to reach the boss dungeon. Map is unavailable as Eric's lyric has little information about. Oh, we're here right now. Okay, so we need to get here. So we go one, three, two, four, five, six, exit. Or if we go... We can go this way, it's real quick. Or we can go the top way and take the longer path. Let's take the longer path. <laughs> We're getting cold. This is the cold bar, right? Yeah. What is this? Choose your Overwatch person will oversee the camp while the others get some rest. The Overwatch stat will determine the overall effectiveness of resting here. Minjo Joe, you got this. Overwatch us with your bow. Thumbs up. What is this poster? It's pretty much a, an off brand pop. It's cheap, but really good. There's nothing wrong with cheap pop at all. You know what, like, I, I talked about this before, but I'm like, I'm losing weight right now. I'm down 24 pounds since April the 7th, which might be too much. However, um, one of the big things is like, I only drink uh, water and, dang it, black coffee. That's it. Vlad, what is up? We got you in the party right now. This is you right here. <laughs> How are you liking Vambrace? I'm actually really liking it. So much things to open. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> dead elf. Okay, leave the dead elf. Can play some darts. Okay, where are we on the map? Okay. Okay. Can't run in here. Oh, what is this thing? It's a spectral goat. Okay, what do you have for... I don't know why there's things for sale. That is alcohol right there. Herbal leaf that can be patched to a wound to recover. Hook me up with one of those. It's expensive, but I feel like it's probably worth it. Cures Terrifying and Frostbitten. Give me two of those. Give me two of those. And I don't... Give me, like, one of those. There we go. God, I can't live without caffeine. Yeah, that's where I am. I'm pretty, pretty much half a year without caffeine. That's crazy. That's really good, though. Also... I have to agree with Penta. I don't think many can compete with the emotes that he possesses. Snare trap. Oh, avoid it. Vlad avoided the trap. What is this in the background? Um, should we may as well camp while we can, right? Yeah. Let's go with Minjo Jew again. I have my cup in the morning and a cup in the afternoon. And I'm good. That's because I'm slick. I have too many. I actually don't think I need to do much of anything here. Just like everybody warm up, I suppose. Well, we can talk. I didn't know you could walk around. Your Overwatch stat will affect the resulting benefit. Will you sleep? Not yet. I have I have too much coffee every day. Five Terry, your Overwatch stat will affect the resulting. Yeah, let's try entertaining. I want to see what this does. 
Despite the dire situation, your party enjoys some time of merriment. Gain vigor equal to Overwatch Terror plus five. That's a problem, but also a good thing. So sleep would be health. I don't think we need health. We can just go. I tried a bit of caffeine pop and pretty, pretty much spit it out because it tasted so bad. You are playing Professor X game. <laughs> oh. Can I go this way? Oh, that's the, uh, the exit is up. I'm going to go this way first. Ooh, lots of stuff in here. Lots of junk in here. Oh, let's put all the junk in the trunk. I mean, take the junk out of the trunk. What is this? Faded jewels. It's an ice cube. We literally got an ice cube. That was awful, but it felt good. Hook me up with a bag of seeds. Oh, it's a knight. I thought that was Jigsaw from the Saw movies. For some reason, I don't know why. All right. Let's go to the exit of this floor. It's Solaire. Dark Souls, right? Which I really do need to play. I know I do. So is this game like Darkest Dungeon? It is. It is pretty much Darkest Dungeon. No, that's not true. It's similar to it. Jonas plays Souls. Jonas Solson. We're in the hospital area, huh? So we gotta get there. So what's the quickest route? Three, five. So let's go straight and then up. All right. Another treasure room. It's kind of nice. Wait. I don't think I took the things there. There was a ghost that flew by. Yo. Minji Joe is opening everything like crazy. I could have sworn that was a wall, but you know, whatever. You ain't failing any. What's my weight at? 63 of 126. I don't think we need to camp, if I'm being honest. It might be a mistake, but it feels like we're good. It's like Final Fantasy Tactics, Darkest Dungeon, and Fire Album. Yeah, that's actually a really good comparison. I'm back, I had to switch to my PC. Welcome back, lad. Oh, fight time. Maybe. Formal dinner table. You find a large banquet table lavished with delicious feast. Who could have prepared such a huge meal in a place like this? I don't know what your weight is at. I know you lost 24, though. Vlad with 25 bits. Thank you for the 25 bits, buddy. If I check tomorrow, maybe that'll be one bit for every pound lost. Oh, baby. We have to try this, right? Go for it. Let's go. Try the food. It worked. <laughs> Gotta take a big poop. <laughs> That's all you need. Lose one pound, lose six pounds. Talking about PC, I picked out my PC case today. Nice. Brother is helping me build a PC. That's awesome. Is that the first time you've built a PC? That is a corpse that died in a terrible way. Okay. Interesting. We got new enemies we haven't seen. I don't know what that debuff or buff does. Kill them. Please kill them. Did not kill. Oh, they got stronger. 
Wait, they died somehow. Wait, she, she put bleed on her own... Oh, I see. They get stronger, but they lose one health. Understand. So you're gonna live, then. It's gonna be your first baby? That's exciting! You're not gonna die. Yeah, it is what it is. Okay. Oh my god! I'm so strong! Okay, you're dead this turn. Peace out. How many hearts do I have at this point? Jonas gets an official heart emote soon and I'll sub again. <laughs> I do need a, like a proper sub or a, a heart emote. I have been thinking about it. Um, I probably will do like a heart emote and switch out the seduce emote for the heart one. I don't know. I like, I like the emotes I do have. Don't get me wrong. But I was thinking that. How do I get this back? That did a lot of damage too. Oh, now you have it. Okay, use it. Good, okay, so just one Skelly boy left. Skeletor's little nephew. That's all we gotta worry about. That's a lot of heart emotes. Is that the only reason you want one? So you can have another one? <laughs> nice dodge. All right, kill this fool. He's not gonna die. Necro slave. It's a creepy name. Very ghost in the shell kind of music. Alright, take it all. Wait, does it weigh something? How can spectral dust weigh something? That doesn't make sense. I collect hearts and cats and dogs. <laughs> Penta is heartless, like from Kingdom Hearts. Okay, where are we now? Okay, so we need to go this way. Except I do want to see if there's anything here. Nothing in that one. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's a camp. Let's camp. It's camp. I'm going to sleep to heal. <laughs> and this guy, Cheeky. That's um, also from Final Fantasy. That's Ultras, I think, or... Uh, not Ultras. What the hell is that guy's name? Ultos. That's it. Ultras. What's the crow do? Okay, you can't use it. Good to know. Um, let's raise our vigor too. Ultras was a weird character. I remember. All toast. <laughs> Bone apple tea. There's like a cult following to that character in the Final Fantasy like realm. Fight. Abandoned movie theater? I wonder what they were playing. What kind of movies do you think are in this world? Uh, okay. I'm just gonna take a look. I don't know which way we should go. This one's got a factory. He's great, that's why. You know what? Let's go this way. Let's go left. This game, I'm playing this game way too much. We might have to do Bullet Rage on Wednesday. Did you say Game Land? Okay, what's my inventory at right now? 72? Okay, still good. 
Fight time. There's so many character designs here. What's that annoying of his hell monster that gives you hundreds of debuffs at once? Uh, that is Marlboro. Like the big, like, octopusy thing. Lars von Tier stuff, most likely. <laughs> Shoot him. We got him. He's not dead, though. I wonder how... So one thing I'm noticing is that I do want to be able to attack different people. It doesn't seem like there's really a way to do it. That's a good AoE, though. Funny enough, spelt like the cigarettes. Fitting enough. Was it intentional? If so, that's really actually amazing. Is the appropriate response to killing Marlboro smoked him? <laughs> yeah, you don't kill one. Yeah, you run. That's literally all you do. If we see one in uh, in Final Fantasy 15 later, you'll know why. They, you don't. There are some games where you blocked it, I guess. Okay. Um, where you have to attack them and fight them. But those are hell. Like, just to get the items from them is the worst. All right. Don't you get rare root from them? Yeah, some of them. You can only kill it in Chronicles because it's boss and really easy. I don't remember it in Chronicles, but I think you might be right. And in 12, because certain armor prevents debuffs. 12 is really good. I'm, I have 12, right? I do. I got the steel book. I bought it the day it came out. Health is looking pretty good. 12 was great. So fucking big, though. Never beat it. That's fair. Oh, no. What have I done? I could skip a couple rooms. I can go 2, 3, 5, 9, 8, 9. What? No. 2, 3, 5, 7, 9. And 8. Don't forget about 8. Camp. You should camp. Let's camp. In Chronicles, it's the Mushroom Forest boss. That's right. Forgot about that. I think I only played 4, 9, and 13. 4 is really good. 13 is like... Thirteen's pretty good. I actually do enjoy 13. After a certain point, everybody's like, oh, it's so linear and blah, blah, blah. After you reach a certain point in 13, it becomes like not linear and pretty good at that point. So I kind of enjoy it. I'd get sidetracked with all the hunting quests. I never focus on the main story. Also fair. The Colossus quest in the end in some areas of the best quest in any Final Fantasy. As if you want to play yourself six. I agree. You have to play six. It's still 20 hours in. <laughs> Uh, it's a good point. This is a really good point. Okay, we fought these guys before, except for the, uh, the friggin' Falcon from Spider-Man here. And by Falcon, I mean Vulture. Okay, so we get two turns. Good. I would like an AoE. Not quite ready. That's all right. Four, five, six, and seven are all must plays. I agree. And nine. 12 was incredible. Nine is so good. 12 was great. Nine is iffy. I did play nine 
uh, through the stream. I really enjoy Nine. Nine is kind of like an homage to the classic uh, Final Fantasies, like like four and five. Nah, not so much five. Four and six. And I feel like they did a pretty good job with it. It's enjoyable. I enjoyed the stream. It was fun. I think I'll try six, but something... I think you tried six, but something happened to my save file or bug. Yeah, that's frustrating. FF9 is then trying to be like four, and it was good, but four is near perfect. A lot of people do say four is their favorite in this series. I, it's not my favorite in the series. I do think six is the best. Hence the reason I have a Kefka tattoo, and I've said that before. And I do still think that seven is the most influential of the games, but it's not the best. Oh, hook me up with seasonings. Noxious fumes. Oh, avoided. Oh, Vlad avoided. What the hell is this? Didn't touch that damn thing. See, he's the smart one. Are we just going straight through this one? We're not going straight through this one. FF4 is better than Final Fantasy VII. Fight me, internet. I have nothing I want to play on my PC. I want to play more Dragon Quest Builders. Hi, whoever want to watch the stream, what do? Play the game. Always play a game instead of watching me. Five's job system was the best system next to Materia. I agree. I went back? Fuck. I'm in the minority, but I really didn't care for seven all that much. It's okay. I don't think you're that much of a minority in the in the game. A lot of people don't think seven is like the masterpiece it's made out to be. I guess I just can't go through there. All right. Or can I? Oh, that leads back this way. Gotcha. We're, we're going to camp here. But the FF, the 7 remake looks killer. Yeah, I agree. The only thing with the 7 remake, well, there's the two things. One, you just said it. I do wish it was turn-based instead of real time. The second is apparently they're releasing them as episodes rather than the whole game at once. I would prefer just to have the whole game. So two relatively major problems that I have with the game, but I'm still going to play it. Yeah, not excited for it, sadly. Especially since it's episodic. There, never mind. I don't even need to talk anymore. <laughs> Seven is the one where you start off being timed to run away. It is, yeah. Stay back unless you want to feel my blade. Wait, we're from Dale Ark. You're from Dale Ark too? Damn, you gave us quite a fright. I'm the leader of this team. We've been scavenging the surface, but I do believe our luck has run dry. This. Oh, what's, um. What's that Magic the Gathering Planeswalker called? Elandra or Iliandra? That's what she reminds me of. Panda's gonna know. My crew is a real threats up here. You have to pony up some Hellion if you want their help. Eh. We were getting... We are getting the cross dressing scene in 1080p. It wins. <laughs> you got a point. Did you make up your mind about getting I Am Setsuna? We can get Vlad 2.0. Liliana, that's it. Kind of reminds me of her. I think I have one of her cards sitting here. Somewhere. Uh, I'm not gonna get it. Like, I like our crew right now, so I'm just gonna keep them. Alright, we're making our way through this. 
probably do need to camp at some point soon. Thanks for all the free shit, though. Ow! Oh, failed. Steep crevasse. Oh! You can't trap Vlad. My boy is untrappable. What the hell is this? Don't touch that damn thing. <laughs> I don't even looking in there. What am I even getting right now? Anything of value? We're good. Uh, one second. That leads me... No, I want to go this way. Okay. He's a dwarf. He lives in crevices. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, that's a problem. It's like the darkest dungeon has become dark. Oh, that's probably not good. What are these guys called? Butcher Spook and Enforcer Spook. Oh, shit. Get this man. Did not get that man. Oh, thank God you missed. Oh. Oh, that did not miss. Probably should have been wearing something a little bit more combat ready. I'm so happy I finished my job application, but at the same time, I'm not so happy that I will probably have to wait until July before I know anything. Government. That was kind of weak. Tristan's doing good stuff. Get that AoE damage. Okay, so we go and then they go twice. Pretty much at pretty good health right now. I really like the turns in this and like how it actually calls it out. Uh, just because we've been talking about Final Fantasy a lot. It does remind me of Final Fantasy X a little bit and how it lays out the turns like that. I do like that lower your attack right it does lower your attack that's what i want so now we get three turns in a row they're manually going through each applicant's supplemental questions mine was 13 pages long 10 was also not my favorite 10 for me is an interesting one um I like 10 2 more than I like 10. Vlad's amazing. And. Yeah, we'll take it. The reason that I like 10 was it was really like that first, like, next gen game for me. I think we were going this way. The initial, like, opening cutscene with it. I couldn't believe, like, I remember watching it at a friend's house. Um, it was right around the time when I did not have any video games. So when that came out, I was in... Avoid it. You can't trap the man. Um, I was in, like, ninth grade or tenth grade or so. <clears throat> like, maybe around there. And I had never seen a game look so good. Just kill him. This should kill him. It did not kill him. I actually really enjoyed Final Fantasy X. The characters were atrocious, but I liked everything else. Loved me some Blitzball. That was pretty fun. Okay, we need to heal that character. My fave hands down is Final Fantasy IV. I loved all the characters. Yeah, the arc... I'm not going to spoil anything in the uh, in the game, but the story arc of the main characters in four is amazing. Ten's writing and story killed it, even though the gameplay was fun. Understandable. It, a lot of people said it was pretty campy. Oh, never mind. I was like, I hit you. You know what? You need to defend. 
Defending takes vigor. Interesting. These guys are not fun. I hate that so much. We're gonna die. We have two health left. How do I heal? Lower their lower their attack. Seymour is the worst villain. Yeah, he was pretty weak villain. I 100% agree. Okay. Is this an AoE? Deal four true damage to two mid-range targets. I'm not running. We have to do this. No, oh, they both died. Thank God. Oh, Kefka and Xtas would swallow him whole and Kuja would eat him alive. Uh-huh. I agree. Kefka is the best villain ever. Also agree. 100%. 13 was just walk down this hall and for the nearest 10 to 20 hours until the game lets you openly walk about. That's true. Sephiroth would stand in a corner moping like an emo teen. <laughs> Don't attack me. Okay, attack our tank. I'm fine with that. We need to camp so badly. Okay, give me all of this. I have to heal. How do I use it? It's not a good place to begin rummaging through my bag. Find a safer space. That's a problem. I need to find a place to camp. Velvet ropes means I can camp maybe I can um usable while camping usable can I use this right now I can't oh camp let me camp this is not a camp it's a fight please just read it says only camp it says usable while camping I actually thought it meant like usable outside of camping and camping at the same time no one loves me i was just a pawn and now i need to kill everything for zero reason <laughs> that's why i never like sephiroth just put on your big boy pants and shut the fuck up uh, yeah i i did not mind sephiroth as a villain uh, just didn't stand like to the same level of quality as Kefka. Like I did feel like Kefka was like more of a villain. Um, I did like how Sephiroth was kind of like a reflection of Cloud in the game. That sucks. Run away. I can have one of my characters run away. Interesting. I should really have this dude at the front. It's literally a tantrum he's throwing where Kevka's a villain, he was evil. Yeah. You wanted destruction by any means necessary. It's also true. <clears throat> but I actually kind of prefer characters that have some sort of like rationale for their behaviors i don't think anybody is either inherently good or inherently evil and i think that's where i struggle not with kefka or or many of the villains in final fantasy but i struggle with like certain video games and um other movies and books and so forth where the main villain is just mean or evil for the sake of being evil. I've, I've never really liked it. 
just always feels like uh, unnecessary, I guess. We got it. We got to get this. Oh, Kefka has reasons. Yeah, that's my point. Like, I didn't feel that with him at all. Um, Kefka as a villain was like a man of conviction. He was crazy and was able to pursue his plans because of his conviction, I guess. There's a reason I have a Kafka tattoo. That's all. I think I gotta defend with Vlad right now. Two true damage, deal combat damage to one long range. This one's probably still better. Oh, that sucks. Okay, you defend. We're in a bad place. No! No! Is he dead permanently? He might be dead permanently. Oh, Magitek ex experimentation just played a huge role in what shaped Kafka. That's true. He's dead permanently. Rip Vlad. Oh, this looks not fun. Camp? Camp. Let me camp. It's the exit. Oh my god, there's more. How much to this is there? We're gonna die before I reach the end. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna die right here. No, oh, three damage. Yes, attack the Tulk. Did I say Tulk? I meant the tank. The Hulky tank. The Tulk. They actually covered a bit about him in the Dissidia lore. Did not know that. That AoE attack is so good. Oh, 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 oh what a dodge. No, there's a reason when the raid boss against Kafka in Final Fantasy 14 released, the servers were filled with a record setting eight minutes. It's a good point. So this game isn't easy. Learning that pretty quick. Yep, yep, Plague Doctor saved my life. Oh, so everybody's dead in my party, I would guess. I think I'm okay. I can't remember much. Considering the injuries you sustained, you've healed remarkably well. Strange. Indeed, I have deduced that something else is at work here. May have something to do with that peculiar van brace I was unable to remove from your arm. In any case, what you do with that information, you're free to go now. Do not keep your companion waiting too long. Oh, we actually... But we don't keep anything, right? We actually did. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go back to the main menu. Sleeping saves your status. That's fine. We'll, we'll be okay. So I'm going to go back to the main menu. I'm going to throw the link in here once again. If you guys are interested in checking out Vambrace Cold Soul, it is coming out tomorrow on Steam. Unfortunately, I don't know the price. Um... But it is, again, it's from Despresso Games and published by Head Up. Head Up's done a, a few of my favorite games in the last couple of years, uh, for sure. And I actually am really, really digging it. I did receive a copy of the game, full disclosure, 
So take that as you will, but my opinions cannot be bought or sold or given to be blah, blah, blah. But I am enjoying it. I do think it's got rough edges to it. However, I do like the concept. I do like the difficulty. Character and art design are good and the RPG elements are really good so far. Um, I'm just gonna take a look through the options mode really quick. Not much for options. So you can't change the font or anything. That's fine. That's fine. So I'm gonna switch over